Welcome back to Soul Box. We've been talking about prayer. We've been talking about prayer blockers, things that hinder our prayers. And our verse for today is from James 1.6. And our topic, our prayer blocker, is doubt. Uh, James 1.6 says, But let him ask in faith with no doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. And verse 8 goes on to say, verse 7, I'm sorry, says, For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. So God's very serious about us coming to him in faith. It doesn't mean that we're always praying for the right thing. But the object of our faith is Jesus Christ. And we can have complete and total faith in him when we come to him in prayer. And that's how God wants us to come to him. Hebrews 11:6 6 says, And without faith it is impossible to please him, speaking about God. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seeks him. Of course, we should come to him humbly, but God wants us to come to him in faith. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says, Now this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we asked of him. There's some things you're praying for and you know it's the will of God. There's no doubt in your mind. Um, it's backed up by his word and you know it's right. But you don't see it happening. God expects you to continue to come to him in faith and continue to pray. Believing the things that you're praying for God is going to bring about in his time and his way. He's God, so he gets to choose when he brings them about. But he expects us to stay in an attitude of faith and certainly a prayer of faith. But God bless you. We'll talk about another prayer blocker tomorrow. I hope you'll continue to pray. And next time you go to the Lord and pray, I hope you will pray in faith. God bless you. See you back here tomorrow.